Well then everyone, how are you doing? Just finished work so I thought I'd come for a little blast and as you probably noticed already my camera is on the top of my helmet because I haven't got my full face on. It's just a cross country ride, I look pretty stupid with the full face on. So this is a test ride as well to see what the camera's like. It's upside down on my visor at the minute. I know that's not an ideal view, but I just don't like chesties. All you can see is straight ahead and I like to be able to, where I look, you look. So let's see what it's like. Let's quickly get across this slip road. Yeah, so I'm hoping with this new helmet, I can just record every single ride I do and bring you guys along with me. I'll add a bit more variety to the channel. Not just the big epic rides, but... Oh, nearly missed the entrance. There we go. So the helmet I went for, Giro Tyrant helmet in black. Fits quite nice. The camera fits quite nice as well. So I'm just going to be fine tuning the angle on this ride. So you might see it changing quite a bit. Well, so far this new helmet is pretty comfortable. It's not flopping about on my head. It's nice and tight. So this little section we're on now, it's like a quad mire when the, it's wet. So I'm going to miss these uh, local rides in the winter. But it'll probably take me longer to clean the bike than it would be to ride the ride. Yeah, look at this, look, and it's summer. Right, bit of a road section now to weather some woods. No cars parked this end, so hopefully there'll be no dog walkers. Now I've altered the angle a bit on the camera see what that's like I'll check it out when we get to the bottom of the, this, this descent nice and fast is this descent not really that steep but should give the camera and the helmet and the visor a bit of a test I don't there's any walkers oh, let's go for it then tough climb coming up I'll keep it in the harder gear get that heart rate pumping a bit steep is this light right let's have it come on oh, nearly there oh shit I'll just get to the bottom of here and I'll check uh, the footage see what the angle are like down that bit let's right, see what this is like not too bad maybe a bit maybe a bit low yeah I think he wants lifting just a touch right here we go through the little village of Bramon and we're just gonna cut up left here where this horse is that horse there on the building no, this is brutal, this is. This is quite a steep little hill, this. Let's do it in third gear. This bit's a killer. Oh, shit. Let's just stop and have a look.
Nice view of Bremen there. My mum, born and bred here. So probably just over halfway now on this little evening ride. Trying to make the most of as many light nights as I can. Because you don't half miss them when it starts to get dark on a night and it's dark at half four. Every year I say to myself, oh, I wish I'd have done more in the summer. I think I'll get to the top of this track, which is where that tree is there. I'll just check the footage again. So I did move the camera up a touch. Whew. Right, let's stop here and have a look. So that's a lot better. See my front tyre and just about see my handlebars. bars. And I can see what's coming up right at the top lot. I think I'll stick with that for now. This looks like it could be a nice picture for my thumbnail. Let's see. So I just want to stress to you that this helmet and camera setup isn't replacing the chin cam. That is always going to be used on my videos, what come out on Thursdays. This helmet and camera setup is just literally for rides like this. That was good, enjoyed that. It's not bad for round here. But what I've seen so far of uh, the footage, doesn't look too bad. It's not as immersive as the chin, but it's not too bad. I think you could get used to it quite quick. This looks like another good uh, picture with a windmill in the background. this I've not had a drink again I'm terrible for it no wonder I feel like crap after I finish a ride because just don't drink anything all right that's it for the off-road onto road now just a little climb to the top of Wimmer Hill right let's have it That's cooled me off a bit. Right, we're to Clifford now. About two miles until I'm home. Well, that's it. I'm just about back. If you made it this far without getting too bored, I hope you enjoyed watching my local ride that I do on the night when I get home from work. And tonight's ride mainly was to get this uh, helmet set up, which we've got the angle looking pretty good, I think. Right, thanks for watching then, and um, I'll see you on the next ride.